day Nick texted me, hey, can you meet me at K Jewelers tomorrow? I was more excited than I ever been for Lexi because she's finally going to be marrying khaki pants. <laughs> when Lexi was in 10th grade, she went on a class trip to New York City. And out of all the sightseeing they did, her best view was some classmate named Nick wearing khaki pants. <laughs> she feeds my soul all the gold I could need. This whole time I've been searching for the wrong thing She's my captain, she's the sea She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me She's my captain, she's the sea She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me and I remember my first week at St. Francis, I, I didn't really know anybody um, I had to do all these orientation activities and you kind of find out who you want to be friends with. The only thing I took from that first day was I was not going to be friends with this guy. You know, I, and I didn't even talk to him yet. I saw him, he had like a really tight white t-shirt on, muscles showing, blonde hair, and he kind of looked like a cool guy, like, like a Disney high school musical quarterback. It was kind of the sense that I got. And it's funny because if you know him, you know that cool is probably not <laughs> part of who he is. In college at one point, um, I saw him with Avengers posters, like superheroes in his dorm room. I think strings were attached to him as he was trying to make a conspiracy theory about what was happening in the next she's movie. The she's the sun on my back, baby, believe me. She's my captain, she's the sea. She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me, believe me, believe me. Throughout high school, their friendship continued to grow, which eventually led them to choosing the same college where they only grew closer. I remember Lexi texted me one day saying Nick asked her to go to the movies, and she was so confused if it was a date or not. I said, well, is it just you two? And she said, yeah. I said, well, then it's a date. And sure enough, it was. Fighting for my bones And I'll never have to break the cold She's the kind you only find in a They say story. good things come to those who wait, and for Nick that is certainly true. When he first told me he started talking to Lexi, he always said he pictured Lexi being the one he marries, and I couldn't agree more that she's the one for him to grow old with. In the 24 years I've known him, Nick has always been a patient man and has never been afraid to wait for what is best or what is right. His marriage to Lexi is certainly an example of that. He waited for what was best and what was right and now has a beautiful, smart, and talented woman to call his wife. Lexi was always by my side giving me advice, although I didn't always agree with her. She seemed to always be right in the end. She's the first person I go to when something goes wrong in my life and has always been guiding me, always my sec like my second mom guiding me through life and mostly telling me to behave myself. She's the absolute best big sister and for that I know she'll make a great mother someday. I've seen Lexi at her worst four years ago lying in a hospital bed She's not knowing at that time if we would ever see this day and through it all she kept her faith and grew stronger than anyone I know. I've never had anybody fight for me She's my captain, she's the sea She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me She's my captain, she's the sea She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me believe I think about how strong you two were and how much you grew together me. And I only bring that up because it makes this moment this wedding. All these people who love you very much it makes everything so much sweeter. Um, and I, I'm honored to be someone who you can both call a friend. Um, and I think I speak for everyone in this room when we say we love you both. Um, we are so happy for you. And we're all excited to see what the Cunninghams can conquer. She's the sea. She's
She's the sun on my back. She's everything. She's my captain. She's the sea. You're the sun on my back, baby. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Remember the day I was in the shower and I prayed that the next girl that I would fall in love with or, or start to catch feelings for would be the one and I knew Lexi my whole life and then I remember seeing her uh, the next day in class at college and it's like I saw her completely different. I just don't remember. I was in high school so it was just probably passing in the halls. I think we just slowly started to, to get to know each other. By junior and senior year we knew each other pretty well. I sat beside her in stats class and I'd always pick on her. But Little I know she had a crush on me at that time. 